Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at some motivation for L'Hopital's rule when we're dealing with um, a ratio of two, uh, two functions where this is tending toward infinity and this is tending toward infinity. This Now this will work if, if this is plus or minus or plus or minus, the same idea will hold here. And just by simply factoring out the appropriate negative to get back to this picture, which we're gonna see. So let's suppose that we have the same setup as before. So we have g of t, f of t going along a curve. And on this curve, it's headed out this way so that it's, so as t approaches some value, then that means that, um, so as t approaches some value here, that means that this curve is going up in this direction. So g of t is heading toward infinity and f of t is heading toward infinity. Okay, now this right over here, we have the same idea holding that if we take a line that goes to the origin, we get, um, we get rise over run. So we get a slope, the slope of average rate of change or something like that, or slope from here to the origin of a line that we just drew. That's what this is. Now, what happens is we extend this line out, 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 further and further. Let's assume that the slope stabilizes somewhere of the curve. Well, if the slope stabilizes of the curve, the slope of the curve will eventually, in that limit, match the slope of the line that goes all the way to the origin. Um, just like we were matching slope of the, 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 the fraction before to that slope of, of uh, to the slope of the curve, we're matching the slope of the curve again to that when we go in this direction. So as we head towards zero or if we head to out this way, it'll still work. Here's another quick example of this. Suppose that we have something that looks like this. We have a function and then maybe it goes like this. So here's the origin. At first, you know, our slopes are like this, but as we keep on going up and up and up, look what happens. The slope will eventually, will get very close to being um, the same, the slope of the tangent line and the slope from, from this point to that point, which means that when we take this limit again, we have the same idea of the FDT DD, DG DT, where this looks like rise of a run in this picture of a tangent line. Of, um, and so, and that's, we want that limit to be the same. So again, we can do this. That this limit of this fraction is simply equal to the limit as T approaches A of F prime of T over G prime of T. And so we'll look at some next, some videos, um, some examples in the next video. Thanks for watching.